again everybody um, we are now back at playing endless sky Ooh, my tea is going cold well I was getting ready to start the stream and it crashed so um, it was a uh, I guess it could have been worse timing, but yeah. All right, let's see. I have no missions currently. <sighs> the thunder. Let's see what's over here. Poison wood. The trouble over here is that um. Cool, man. I'll take a look at that in a, in a little bit. Um, the problem at this section, the south, as uh, you pointed out, Vasily, um, is it's actually pretty treacherous. Um, not a fun place to. Uh, wonder but let's see oh five jumps away star cross See, this one is a much better job, I think. 30 tons, 31,500. Rush delivery, that's why it's paid so well. 45 tons of lathes. Alright, I guess we're going over this way. Submission. That's just three jumps from there. Accept that mission. Anything else in that general area? No. Let's see. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we can do it in one. One swell foop. Tell if it's better to um, to stop along the way because every jump costs you energy and it costs you like you see pay you a hundred credits in crew salaries that sort of thing. Castle Miner Z community is basically gone. There's still a few people who occasionally stream it. Okay. I need more comfortable headphones. Pums, I don't know if I should be going Bluetooth. Because 
I do eventually want to start doing um, beer brewing streams, and a set of uh, headphones would be nice for that. What kind of headset do you have, Vasily? I know what Dan has. Dan, you have the Logitech, right? Let's see, I'm going up here. Let's see. What is it? Just a um, RF headset? check that out um, I eventually want to do a um, see if I can do this without destroying my whole desk it's kind of have this Raspberry Pi almost be a um, transportable camera and um, audio rig because the Raspberry Pi has Bluetooth built into it now. And I'm trying to figure out what the best way to do that is, but I've also not been in a big rush, you know? Let's see. Farmers. Okay. I'll do that. I'll do that. That. Where else? Argentina. Sorry. We'll go with that. So, what is it? Is it plug into just a regular um, headphone jack? Or is it. Um, its own thing. Alright. I'm done here. Yeah, but how does it connect to the computer? Is it... Is there a, an adapter of some sort? Or USB or something? Jack, gotcha. Yeah, I mean that's um, it's not a bad idea. I like that idea as well. All right, medical it is. First game you get on PC when you get shaded on a tablet. Cool. Uh, 
like I said, man, I already got so many games I need to play. I don't know why I didn't put bust open GTA 5 this morning. I had plenty of time this morning and I knew it. <coughs> Daylight saving time started, <coughs> which means all everybody's going to be asleep for an extra hour because there's no school today. <sighs> I don't want to take that job. I didn't think though. your back filed a text about it. Twenty three twenty three hours with the battery lasts, is that what is that what that means? Oh cool, what was wrong with it? I'll reload. Cool. That's always nice that you have that other option. All right, screw this. I'm going home. That sucks. What was the causing the pause? <coughs> was it that was causing the pause? Just couldn't communicate or something? Cause that was some weird shit. And carrots. I've gotten so lazy. I, I buy the no wash carrots and then I still don't eat them. She was Twitch. Apparently, Twitch now fix all the bugs with, with their app and it kind of screwed up the game's sign. It's interesting. Do that. 
All right. Cool, man. Thanks for joining. You have a good day. And I'll uh, hopefully see you a little bit later. Wrong way, wrong way. Not exactly out of the way. That's awesome. That's good. Do you do you use an account or are you using like TurboTax or something? Ooh. Good news, everybody. I totally wish I could do um. the professor because I would be using that shit all the time alright oh now I'm PO'd Expensive here, everything's really cheap over there. Transport to Mars, okay. Twenty five tons of cognac. Why do you watch them? Are you making like a soup or something? Are you doing something like a mirepoix? four hours yeah no problem man thanks for joining I appreciate it it's always good to have uh, people join me especially early in the morning so thank you I appreciate it yeah you have a good thing sleep followed by the whatever and the thingy 
with a nap in the middle. That thing. <laughs> Have a good one, man. Thanks for joining. Alright. I think I have enough missions to keep me busy right now. And I'll go to sleep. Who, me? I, I've already slept, so. Allegedly, I've already slept. I, um. I wish I had more space for 394 food. Because. Uh, it still doesn't bit mission cargo. Because mission cargo is right around 1,000 per. But by the time you do three jumps. Exactly. Alright. Yeah, I'm kind of stealing hours out of my day in the first thing in the morning, you know? Oh, everybody's gonna wake up though. My heater turned on. Everybody wakes up with the heater. I should have turned the heater off this morning. Oh well. Let's see. Things so all. No, you didn't tell me what did happen to your job. Wrong way. Not exactly the wrong way. formation a little far from your house. The police take your driver's license. What's, what's the formation? familiar with that. machine driver. Oh, I see. Gotcha. I, 
Gotcha. Done for now. Over here. Woof. Everything's expensive here. Everything's chipping off Centauri. It's smart enough to put you relatively in the right spot. So two jobs there. I'm not going that way. You can go that way. So why not? Seven. <laughs> Carrot washers are boiling. This is tomatoes. Good luck. Strange word washers at first we is about washing not round pieces. <laughs> mm. I see. Um I think you're looking to either not washers but um I think we call them medallions. 
you're talking about little round pieces of carrot. I think we would probably call them medallions. There you go. Gotcha. Watching play another Cool man. Have fun, man. I uh I uh, appreciate uh Rondell's. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Cool. I'm trying to think, that word doesn't sound Yeah, the little little round ones, right? The diminutive round. Um, I'm trying to th figure out where I've heard that word before. Like, that word doesn't seem... It seems like a word I've he heard before. Or I've seen before. And I can't, um, can't place where I've seen it. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't place where I've um, seen that word before. Yeah, I um, I figured. I just, I don't know. I don't know where where I've, where that why that word seems so familiar to me, but it does. But you go and eat, man. It's uh, lunchtime for you. Or is it a déjeuner? piece of metal used with the screw. <laughs> <There it is. laughs> uh, I love euphemisms, man. That's awesome. This is a metal used with a screw for not damaging the wood. Is it like a washer? Is that what you mean? I was I was thinking um, like eclair, but like fill it with cream. Um, <laughs> that's that's horrible. <laughs> I heard it on my porn. I can't remember the last time I watched French porn. That that's it's been a while.
What am I doing here? I've completely lost track of what I was doing. That's when you know you got a good stream going, is like you completely lo lose track of the game. the home planet of Lovelace Labs, one of the most highly respected designers of starship systems and weaponry. It was originally settled as a mining planet, and the mines here still produce a steady stream of metals by the labs and many other industrial companies here. From above, the planet looks almost lifeless and barren. Most of the major cities on Ada are built through the walls of the canyons, where they are protected from the high winds and occasional dust storms that sweep across the surface. Bakery closed Mondays. Need some bread for the tomato juice vinegar. Can't you just get bread at like the local market or anything like that? Or do you actually have to go to a bakery? I forgot to buy this stuff when I came over here. Oh well. Poor zone of France. Alright. No market here, no shops are closed Mondays. That sucks. This is the low hanging fruit. Farmers to bounty, which is wrong way. Sahara. Alright, that's probably the wrong way. <coughs> gotcha. Is it by conspiracy that they're closed on Monday, or did they just all seem to pick Monday to be closed. Flour, salt, yeast, water, um, olive oil I always put in my bread. Courage. There you go. No, you know what you miss? You miss the need to make good bread because you have constant access to good bread. Here, our bread is shit. So, a lot of times if you want good bread, you have to make it yourself. Trust me, if I had access to good bread all the time, I'd never make bread. There's this one shop... Uh, nearby here that has beautiful Italian loaves. I believe it's what you would call batards. Um, and um, they're just absolutely fantastic. Um, but they don't have it every day. And, you know, they're really expensive. They're like, you know, $4, $5 a loaf. But it's really fantastic bread, and I always get it when he has when I'm over there and he has it. But again, like I said, he doesn't have it every single day. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. Like, 
Here the bread is like made in industrial factories where and they're full of preservatives and they don't taste like bread. They're closer to the texture of a sponge. It's hard not to make bad bread. Yeah, you should you should talk to the industrialists in this country. It's easy to make shitty bread. Here everything's about packing efficiency. Ease of sliceability. No, th this is just plain like white or wheat bread. I mean, it's they're made in these square loaves. All of them are perfectly baked, but they all suck. I would need to send you one slice of bread for you to understand what it means to have, have sucky bread. It is very difficult to explain to somebody in France or Italy or something like that what shitty bread is. Because you just don't have shitty bread. All of your bread is fantastic. Alright, I'm going here. Coco Rico. Not familiar with that. Oh, I don't have any mission cargo space. Fantastic. Even better. French chauvinist. <sighs> I'll tell you one thing. USA is hard to love right now. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, there's certain things. I mean that um, we just don't do very well here and food is one of them especially bread like you would think it would be hard to fuck up bread we totally fuck up bread I'm gonna tell you, like I'm I'm Turkish, so I know what good bread is. Like when I was younger, and I used to go visit Turkey, I um, um I know what good bread is now. <laughs> I mean, it's not, and like I said, it's absolutely impossible to find good bread here. Oh, okay, Coco Rico is, uh, I got you, the whole gall versus rooster, yeah. Le coq. <laughs> the two feet in shit pile. It's about right. <laughs> Alright, I guess so. Going here. Now that's that's an interesting little uh, way to put it. I've I've never heard that. That's cool. No, 
I mean, and that's the thing. Like you said, like bread is should be something that's hard to to screw up. If you've ever made bread, you know, even your worst loaves of bread absolutely smell and taste great. You know. <laughs> I live just outside of Washington DC, so I'm not really that close to um Quebec or um Acadia or New Acadia as um as uh Louisiana would be called. go to both of those planets. Washington DC where we have every language <laughs> I went to the store the other day I heard people speaking Spanish which is fairly common you can pretty hear pretty much hear anybody speaking Spanish anywhere here um, I heard somebody speaking Turkish I heard somebody speaking I would tell what I believe was Chinese um, another person speaking a Slavic language I don't know if it was Russian or if it was like a Slavic language um, and then, and then, um, I think that was it for that one visit. So, like I said, we, we speak every language here, but I'll, be, I'll, I'll tell you, it's fairly rare to find a French speaker unless they're from like a French region of Africa. Like, uh, you don't see many um, French or um, Quebecois or anything like that around here. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, again, it sounds, yeah, it, uh, to an untrained ear, they sound very similar, the Russian and the Slavic languages. Um, I can't, I can't distinguish them. I, I frequently confuse them. So, um, so apologize, I apologize to any Russian or Slavic, um, viewers. I just, you know, I just can't, just can't do it. It's just not... Gotcha. No, um, I just like I said, I didn't know if it was Russian or Slavic language. Uh, again, like I said, they sound the same to me, sort of, and I can't, I can't distinguish them. I know that I can't, and I know that's not nice of me, but I, I just can't do it. So maybe if I learned one of the languages, I, I would know the difference. So. This is the job that I wanted to take. Yes. Say cry. Oh, um What's the word for what um, roosters do? I think it's called crow, C-R-O-W. Where 
where's the next, where's our next stop? Well, isn't a, a rooster a bird? I mean, crow is a bird, but the sound that they make would be called crowing. It's funny. Crow, crows call. C A W, and I think roosters crow. Because I'm not by any measure an authority on the English language. Technically, English is my second language. Um, donkey brays, B R A Y. when you scream but not scary like yelling at someone yeah a cry would probably be appropriate for that um, yelling um, yeah I mean cry would probably be appropriate it, crying is not necessarily with tears and everything Yeah, crying doesn't necessarily have to have tears. Just yelling and screaming and just making a general fuss could be called crying. Yeah, English is a pretty tough language. I'll throw every day. Hungry, say to Francais. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, That's the thing, I mean, with all the cross invading that the British and, or the Britons and the Gauls would did for centuries, 
You better believe they picked up each other's languages. is the winner. Because I already had sleep. This is an interesting start. Playing Factorio with you today. Well, unfortunately, my kids are going to be up in about half an hour. Um... And honestly, I don't have the full version of Factorio yet, so, um, um, would you want to do mind test? We can do mind test if you would like. I have that. Appreciate that. Um. Huh, I was off the screen. See, here's my thing about trying to do stuff with other people, is that I never know when I'm going to be able to do stuff. And I feel bad, like, if I, if I was to come join and play a game with you, and then, like, half an hour later, I have to go and do something, like, you know, the kids are deciding to blow things up, and I have to go help, I feel really bad having to just stop, you know what I'm saying? No, I can dig that, man. I uh, I hear you. I uh, it's kind of cool. Like we're, you know, two different countries, two different cultures, pretty far. You know, across a big ocean, but at the end of the day, the basic human freedoms and civil liberties and that sort of thing we agree on. You know. So, not even like agree on, but kind of big about. Yeah. No, I, and that's the thing, you know, I mean, like, for this morning, I've had, I've had good luck. I've been at this for over two hours now. That, that's fairly rare. Um, and, you know, 
we had daylight saving time just started yesterday, so everybody's going to be sleeping for um, everybody's going to be sleeping for an extra hour today. So, but uh, like I said, I I really feel bad because, like I said, there's it's hard to tell ahead of time when I'm going to have time to do stuff and when I'm not. Yeah, mind test really like the the regu the base game without mind clone or something like that is very very tedious by yourself. Like unless you have a very specific goal in mind. Um, yeah, unless you have a very specific goal in mind, mind test can be pretty can be pretty rough by yourself. That's for sure. Sell this stuff off. Next stop is over here. Equipment. Yeah, I, I hear you. or my test. I hear you. I hear you. No, I mean, there's a reason I'm playing Mind Clone, too. Like, the the building aspect of it's kind of played itself out. And it's almost like the what's new today aspect of Mind Clone, too. It's keeping me going, really. Um, which is cool, don't get me wrong. It's nice to be playing a game that's constantly changing, constantly improving. But, you know, It's constantly changing and constantly improving, you know. Valhalla. Two. All right. We'll take that. Take that. I'll take that. Conference. Oh. Uh, the alarm is on. Never make it there in time. Let's see. Heavy metal seems to be the winner. I feel like I just brought heavy metals over here. Ooh, I'm up to 1.3 million credits now. I should take a look see if there are new ships that I, a new ship that I might want. Obviously, not having mon having difficulty making money with the crew. All right.
Well, it adds to your garage, but I don't know how you're supposed to fly two ships at once. That I don't understand. I'm something I'm going to have to look into. That's another thing, man. We've messed up our food here so badly that half the population thinks that butter's bad for you. Half. Ha! Huh. 90% of the population thinks butter's bad for you. And the other 10% are, Im are the immigrants who don't. Yeah, but neither is too much sugar or too much whatever. If you take out fat, you got to replace it with something else, right? <clears throat> we are very, we are a very special. Uh, we are a very special species. We've grown accustomed to drinking other species milk. Salt is poison, really. Well, you do need a little bit of salt, but I guess food already has enough in it for you. You know what annoys me is if I want to buy, um, if I want to buy um, unsalted butter, I have to buy s butter with MSG in it. In the in the U.S., unless I make it myself, of course. But your choice is you buy salted butter or MSG butter. Your choice. Hellheim is not a pleasant place. Much of the surface is volcanic, pockmarked with craters and stream vents. Leading deep into the planet's crust, the air is slightly caustic but breathable. However, it is also world rich and easily accessible to of nickel, aluminum, and magnesium. The mining industry has been booming for centuries, and all of deep is one of the, one of the, one world where work is never hard to find if you to face the health risks and the lack of green and growing things. See. I 
I'm, I'm, I don't necessarily agree with you on the salt. I mean, yeah, you don't need the amount of salt that's in, like, potato chips or something like that. But a little bit of salt's not... It's, uh... A little bit of salt isn't going to really affect... It isn't going to be that bad for you. Again, I'll tell you, when I make french fries, for example, or, um... Which is... What, what do you call french fries? Um... Pomme frite. Then I put way too much salt on it. That gets too much salt. But also, that's basically inedible without a massive amount of salt. But, I mean, most potatoes are basically inedible without a massive amount of salt. What is it called? Pomme frite for um, potato french fries. Alright, let's see what jobs are there available. Too bad. Yeah, freights. The bigger piece you say potatoes. Yeah, we just call them French fries, which it's not, I'm not really even sure if they're French. Yeah, that's the thing. I think, uh, aren't frites American? <laughs> we call them French. just call them actually potatoes you don't call them like like palm you call them potatoes interesting all right map we're going to Yeah. See, I always learned it as pomme de terre. Um, and there's a running joke. Everything is either an apple or a cabbage to you guys. <laughs> that That was the joke when I was in high school, but... Let's see. The job's there. We're done. We're going back. Luxury goods. Yes.
Yeah, I love, um, um, what's that called? Um, ornamental cabbage. Um, I think they're just absolutely fantastic. Let's see. I think I'm about ready to call it a day for this game. I think I'm probably going to just kind of run out my missions and see what I got. Well, like, um, what is it? Pate a shoe um, for making eclairs and cream puffs and stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, um, you'll call people like my petit shoe and stuff like that. What's shoe freeze? I'm not familiar with shoe freeze. Or shoe freeze, sorry. I'm not used to, uh. Gotcha. What what do you guys call a pomegranate? Is, do you guys call it grenadine? Or do you call it pomegranate? Yeah, it's interesting, like the um, pomegranate, what we call, uh, what you call grenadine. I don't know why we ended up putting poma in front of it, because it looks like an apple. But the weird part is, is it didn't come from the French palm. So, I don't know. Alright, well, let's just finish out these missions and we'll call it. Plastic. A fruit is called Grenade. Yeah, because I know the Spanish is um, Grenadine. You're going for, uh, what's that, o OSEC? Or OSEC? Yeah, I'm familiar with that terminology. It's pretty... Co since we import a lot of our base cooking from Fran the French, we see all second a lot of the um, ingredients. Yeah. Now, um, we... 
typically stay off sec for like basically until almost all the water it has evaporated and has uh, thickened or not necessarily thickened but has become it, instead of being watery it's more soupy or more saucy Memories of dry wood both enough local plants to maintain a breathable atmosphere and some of the indigenous forms of cactus like drought resistant plants grow dozens of meters high. Most of the animals that have evolved here are nocturnal. Plants was first settled only a few centuries ago and the population is still relatively low, but they've developed a diverse set of industries including manufacturing and medical research. Okay. So all Alrighty. Take a look at our shipyards. Yeah, once once the uh, butter gets up to a certain temperature, it'll start almost like frying it. All right, let's see. This is the ship that I have currently. Has fifty five cargo and eight jumps. Sixty cargo, twenty-eight bunks, seven jumps. Forty cargo, nine jumps. Heavy shuttle. That's what I have. What I had. Hundred twenty eight crew eight um transport four jumps that's five jumps hundred fifty six jumps hundred thirty four jumps Four ninety six jumps, six hundred and six jumps, two sixty and four jumps, three ninety and four jumps. So it looks like this is the ship. Let's see, it only has 4,000 shields. <sighs> the only two places that sell it. Alright, well, I guess we'll pick it up here next time. Um, this whole grinding for another... Uh, ship is um, going to be fun, especially if at 1.47 <laughs> million. And you get up to 10 plus. So, alright, so, uh, thank you for joining me, Vasily. I appreciate it. Let me see if there's anybody to throw it to today. Uh, nope. Cool. Thanks for joining me. And uh, again, thank you. And I'll see you next time.